All right, so I was over at 1541ultimate.net just browsing the website, and I realized that there was a new firmware release recently on February 11th this year, version 3.2. So I, I thought I was interested in it right away, and I wanted to learn all about it. So I clicked the link which said, see here. And then that takes you to the download page where you can click the hyperlink to download the software. And then there's the installation instructions on the page, which all you have to do for the Ultimate 2 Plus is copy the unzipped uh, file to the USB stick, place the USB stick in the Ultimate 2 Plus. Then for the 1541 Ultimate 2, uh, you have to actually use the micro SD card, put the file on the SD card, and then run either both of either this one or this one and click run update. For the Ultimate 2 Plus what you have to do is navigate to the file that you put on the USB stick and then run the update against this file right here. Before we get to that I wanted to read what this firmware actually does by reading the release notes which are listed right here. Completely rewritten SID player by Wilfred Boz Enhanced version of SC3. Added tape index function as suggested by Tom Roger Scohen. Added UCI interface to access the network through ultimate command interface documentation pending. Many additions and bug fixes by Henning and Marcus, including home directory, REU load on startup, easy flash write support, manual save, and more. Some enhancements in FTP server and additional bug fixes. So for most people aren't going to notice the difference when you run the update for the firmware, but I'm one of those people I like to have the, all those bug fixes and enhancements and everything, and I like to go try them out. So let's go give this a shot. So I'm going to throw it over here on my C drive. New folder. Ultimate. To see if I can't paste it in. Oops. And extract it here. And the the file name that we wanted to put on the stick is the update 3.2.u2p. This one here. Copy and I already have my flash drive in paste now it's just a matter of running the update on the actual unit so let's do that part now so here's the flash drive that came with the ultimate 2 plus I have my um, Commodore 64 right here and I just got to plug it into my Ultimate 2 Plus and there's three USB ports on this unit and then once it's in snugly just gonna go ahead and power it up go from there when you power on the Commodore 64 these are the screens that you see I wanted you to pay attention up at the top where it says Ultimate 2 Plus 3.0C in, in parens 109. That's the current firmware revision. What I'm doing now is I'm navigating down to update 3.2.u2p and then I'm clicking run update following the instructions and then I'm clicking yes to flash the runtime.
So now what it says to do is to turn off the machine, which I'm about to do, and then notice when you turn it back on that there's a new set of menus that you see. And that's part of the 3.2 firmware update. Also notice here, I'm about to go in and look at what the contents of the USB device and look at the top, it says Ultimate 2 Plus 3.2 10F. So that's the new firmware. And then I'm just gonna test a few games and a few things and make sure everything's functioning. But from what I can tell, everything looks like it's running great. And then I thought a few people might be interested uh, for me to go into some of the menus just in and out and see if, uh, if see, see if they look the same or or not. You'd have to be pretty familiar with those menus to, to notice any differences though. And from what I can tell, uh, the menu structure looks pretty much the same as what it used to look prior to this firmware update. I want to thank everybody for watching and remind everyone that this channel is 100% ad free and like the No Swear Gamer channel it is also gluten free, vegan and family friendly.